you have very definite things, like very thematic things. And then this is one of the moments where it's more like, okay, this is the fabric, but not, not fabric like this, but fabric of the space-time, the pretentious fabric. To me, to write it for you, for, for your quartet, makes it exactly the piece that it is. The most beautiful part of making music is the interlocking of, you know, of people. Meeting with the quartet was like, I'm gonna play with them, not just with my head, I'm gonna play with them. <laughs> Suddenly, everything came in color. <laughs> I said, man, music doesn't get better than this. And then, then, then the two cellos. That, that's a two cello recital, the, the page 35, okay? On top. You have to really be... Yeah. It's, the figure is hidden. I mean, I know that it sounds like the neighbor here, oh but, but it's a hide. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea, yeah. It takes real guts to copy the, the master and, and come up with your own thing. I mean, that's the, yeah. the genius of well, Oswaldo, I yeah, think. But that, what he does is on a such a higher level. Basically, letting the language of music speak for itself. I heard the poet once says, the language is much smarter than we are. You know, we can never be as smart as the language. And Haydn knows it. He exploits this very essential building block of tonal language, which is the perfect fifth. And it's all the, the potential, the potential of, of music with just one interval. This bar, you know, how a moment that in Haydn lasts Ah, I don't know, two seconds? Like, how can I make it reverberate and find other possibilities? I mean, he, he uses that material to go one way and I use it to go different ways. I think probably this is the piece that I wrote that is most pure pattern than any other piece, thanks to Haydn, right? Because I tend to over-emote. The idea for this piece was that the emotion needs to simply happen out of pattern, right? It's such a simple, innocent and, and heartbreaking melody. And, and I said, well, let's take it for a ride in the cosmos, so to speak. And is the title yet? Ever Yours. Ever Yours. The letters of Van Gogh. He always signs Ever Yours. That's it. Oh, I, I feel see. Ever Yours, that's how one should live life. Ever Yours. <laughs>